Now it's decided. So it is. The fear is still not gone from your eyes. Fear? The memories you've held for 500 years are the source of your fear. They cloud your vision. But now, you've accepted your fate. That is how you bested me. That is why you possess the most beloved of Umbran treasures. That is why you possess the left eye. We fought for this stone, and because of it, everyone died. That gem brings back so many memories. Hey, ah! is it over? What? It's not like you don't scare the shit out of me all the time. Cereza. I don't know whether to shoot you or to take you to Vegas for good luck, Cheshire. Give me more credit than that. If you must know where L-U-K-A Luca is concerned, there's no such thing as luck. Only skill. expect me to trust bitches. I mean, witches, did you, Bayonetta? How's the little one? Out like a light. But okay other than that. What about you? You really think I'm gonna let myself be seen in public with a girl looking all beat up like that? Oh. I look dreadful, do I? Huh? You'll have to learn to wipe that stupid look off your face, or I'll never let you keep chasing me around this world. Got that? Luca? <laughs> now that's more like it. Little one. 
Mummy, where are we? It looks like someone's expecting us. Awfully nice of them to roll out the red carpet. Luca, you need to get one thing straight. Yeah, I know. I won't look after you, so don't screw up. I got things under control. Let's go. Stay next to me, little one. Daddy? What? Daddy! It's Daddy! Daddy? Of course, Mummy. Can't you hear him? Okay, Daddy, I'm coming. And I'll bring Mummy with me. Little one, wait! This way, Mummy! Little one! Cenicita! Bayonetta! Damn it! What follows those living in the light is nothing but the profound, empty darkness born from the shadow that grows longer as they approach the brilliant radiance. To truly see, your eyes must be open to both light and dark. Don't you agree, my dear child? Little one. You've arrived. My dear, sweet Cereza. My, my. Why the grim face, my dear? As a child, your smile was warmer than the sun. So, you are the last of the Lumen Sages. I am indeed. My name is Balder, but if you so choose, you may address me as Father. There is much you have forgotten. It has been five hundred years since we last met. If your memories were still intact, this would have been a much more emotional reconciliation. How did you get the girl? Where shall I begin? We, the Lumen Sages, and your Umbra Witches, have long been the overseers of history, each bearing witness with their own eye. This is how our universes... Existence was preserved. However, for five hundred years, you have been exiled from the world's affairs. You are the left eye of the eyes of the world. Could you dispense with the riddles and just tell me what these sodding eyes actually are? Your years of slumber have caused you to forget many things, even as we stand on the verge of the resurrection of the Creator. The resurrection of Jubileus. There is but one way to return your epic of forgotten memories and open your eye of the overseer. Your uncorrupted eye had to be exposed to the history it could not see. Ah.
Your battles, your struggles, everything you've experienced in this town has been a stepping stone for your enlightenment. It has all been done for the left eye. I've had enough of your philosophical pretensions. I won't ask again. Where did you get the girl? <laughs> Your question has been answered. All this has been done to awaken the left eye. For that, you had to see yourself once more. You are truly beyond salvation, Sage. Ah, salvation. Such a curious word. I mark the path to salvation with light. However, no matter how brilliant that light grows, the darkness within the human heart grows even darker. Light, dark, and chaos between. Three realities, once split, shall be brought together to create a new universe in the image of the old. To these ends, leading to the Festival of Resurrection 500 years ago, I fanned the flames of terror, spurring on the witch hunts. However, despite the people's belief in the return of Jubileus, the Creator, the left eye was out of reach. Since then, I have devoted myself to this town's prosperity, and now it is time for my preparations to bear fruit. Jubileus will be resurrected. We will become the eyes of the world, and a new universe will take over. Puppy! I could never call the man behind this nightmare father. Great speech, big guy. Luca. Getting a bit ahead of ourselves, aren't we, Mr. Big Shot Ithaval Executive? Salvation, light. You take this entrepreneurial philosophy a bit seriously, don't you? But it's all diarrhea of the mouth, if you ask me. History is littered with famous genocidal figures, just like you. Or, should I say, infamous genocidal figures. You must be Luca, journalist extraordinaire. I must say, I'm truly impressed you've made it this far, child. Like father, like son, I suppose. What? Luca, Luca, Luca. Your father had problems with my philosophies. It's fine to investigate, but when malicious rumors start to spread, I must see to it that they come to a stop. For being kind enough to ascertain that my long loss of razor was at the bottom of some lake. I granted him his final wish, and accepted his permanent resignation. You bastard! You are of no use to me. However, I am not without dignity. I will allow you to die in the same manner as your father. <laughs> Luca! Well, 
I guess my plan has gone right out the window. <laughs> Such a shame that sacrifice had to be made. But if destiny is not fulfilled soon, this tragedy will be repeated ad nauseum. Mm. Speaking of tragedy, I suppose you've met Jean. While she sealed you away and kept you from trouble, after falling into our hands, she's been incredibly useful. Although her distinct lack of obedience required a bit of mental reprogramming. Her tragic end led you directly to me, just as planned. The time for awakening the left eye is soon. Fear not, my dear sweet. Cereza. That's it, Cereza. Do not fear your fate. Stand tall, my child. Realize your true potential. Cereza, we are one, my child.
I've got to give you credit, Bayonetta. You never cease to impress. You haven't seen the half of it. I've seen enough. Well, that about wraps it up, huh? Not yet. I'm not afraid anymore, Mummy. No matter what. There's nothing I cannot do. Bayonetta! What's happening to you? And now it is done. The right eye oversees the light. The left eye oversees the darkness. Two eyes to oversee the world. It was never the woman known as Bayonetta that I set my sights upon. It was you as a child. Cereza, that I saw. For she was the one who saw the world through innocent eyes. And she was the one who could give rise to a new history. It was her energy that could awaken the left eye. This has all worked out splendidly. <laughs> Let us begin, Cereza. The time is at hand.
Now, the resurrection of Jubileus shall be completed. We are the eyes overseeing the world. We are the eyes overseeing a new era, a new reality, to which we will devote ourselves eternally. There's still time. The left eye, our treasured left eye, will never fall into the hands of another. It is the pride of the Umbra Witches. Ah, uh, Jean, you've provided me with many blessings. The one and only authentic left eye. Merely seeing it must stir jealousy within you. Your body must yearn to feel a new universe form around it. I have no intentions of gazing upon the left eye. I am here to reclaim my Umbran sister. <clears throat> to return. At last, the trinity of realities will know their real ruler, and time will begin anew. <sighs> Theresa, wake up! Are you insane? Light and dark. Unless both eyes remain, the universe will lose its balance and face another Armageddon. Then this thing should have slept for eternity. Now you must wake up, Ceresa. Ceresa! Ceresa! Damn you! Open your eyes! Light 
dark human. All the strife, all the struggle, the trinity of realities wrapped up in a vortex of creation. Rest, my friend. I'm off to get that black cat.
getting ridiculous. How do you keep surviving all this? I bet you're trying to sneak up on me right now. Aren't you, Bayonetta? for the wicked but at least she's at peace back in the box she came from and I guess I'm gonna have to find a new racket to line my pockets no bonus for old Enzo this time <laughs> as fucking usual you know how it works with witches Enzo they make a deal with the devil and when they die the devil gets his due you get set down into hell and wandering around scared shitless for eternity kind of comes with Territory. Why are you telling me this? Is this not why we are standing here, praying for her soul to rest in peace? I better not be out here catching a fucking cold if these prayers don't mean nothing. It's nice to think your prayers are worth a damn, isn't it? You made a killing exploiting her. Hell, you never know. She might get lonely and come back to haunt your ass. <laughs> Haunt me? Hell can keep her then. <gasps> I said I'd never give up chasing you. I just never thought the chase would end like this. <laughs> Rosemary, you said it was a demon repellent. It might help you on the road ahead. Hey, 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 wait a second. What the hell are they coming down here to get her for? Of course they'd come for the prize they've been seeking all along. Holy shit! You're... the last time I cosplay. me into this filthy old casket. The next time some air holes would be nice. Fewer worms, ideally. Save the chit-chat for later. We've got work to do.
extra ingenue? It has a bit of rosemary. In the language of flowers, rosemary equates to remembrance. Suits me now, doesn't it? Let's dance, boys!